Hey everybody, Tony D with another Web Comic Factory profile. This time we're talking about Dealers. Uh, Dealers is a graphic novel. It's on the site in full. Uh, drawn by Nicholas Ramo, uh, written by myself and Christian Baranek. And it's about toy dealers in the late 90s. Uh, I myself uh, related to a lot of the stuff that we put in the comic because I sold comics in the late 90s when I came out with Jersey Devil. I also sold some of my other, you know, some of my comics collection. Uh, Christian did some wheeling and dealing in the toy game. And uh, she had a lot of input in this. And some of this is based after uh, events in her life. And some of this is based after events in my life. Um, I... Uh, uh, the two characters that I sort of uh, contributed were Big Jimmy and Li Little Jimmy uh, because um, they were two, they were based after two guys I knew who were in the comics game. In, this, in the story, they're in the toy game. And uh, how they sort of operated in terms of uh, their, their, their dynamic and... Uh, uh, you know, why they, they, they were sort of very aggressive in terms of selling everything. They also sold comics, too, in the, in the graphic novel. Uh, the characters are Gary and Wayne, who are the two main characters. They're two friends who get into the toy game, and they start making crazy money. Big Jimmy and Little Jimmy run the store they buy their toys from. Uh, Tamara is Gary's girlfriend, and Wanda is Wayne's girlfriend. And uh, another one of the characters is a guy we call Nemesis, who uh, beats Gary at getting some toys. Um, so if you go to the site, you can read the whole thing. I don't want to, let's see, I don't want to give it away, but I'll show you some of the comic. This is the first page. 1998, it's a golden era in America. The promise of a new century is just around the corner. For some, it's time to take a chance on fulfilling a dream. And then we get into Jimmy's collectibles and Gary uh, and Wayne go to meet the two Jimmys. And uh, this is what starts their epic quest to uh, buy and sell toys. Um, then later they become uh, toy guys. They're going to shows, um, but they kind of don't know what they're doing. And, uh, Gary here gets taken uh, by uh, uh, one of the, one of the local guys who who knows more about toys than him, uh, local flea market, because he doesn't really know where to buy his toys. Um, and here he is doing some toy hunting. You can see Nicholas is really good at backgrounds, cars, and things like that. This is um, Gary showing up early at the equivalent of a Toys R Us to try to get at the toys before any of the other customers, right? But uh, they run into some problems and uh, can't really get the toys that they want because they're looking for, um, for those of you who don't know, toys were sold, still are, uh, in batches that make them more collectible, right? So there's one in every, you know, one uh, special figure in every 10 or 20 or 50 or every other case. It's, it's a whole thing. Um, eventually they start doing conventions. Here they are at a, at a con, at a toy con. And here they are trying to uh, uh, sell their wares at a convention that is uh, uh, going okay. <laughs> but uh, as the time ticks down, they're wondering which comics dealer were, will, or sorry, which toy dealer will crack first. Um, and this was a great episode, too. I like this one. This is when they, they bring their wives to the con. Oh, I think they're married already. Yeah. Yeah. The, so uh, they don't really understand the con or, and the appeal of it. So they, they, they bring the wives in order to uh, purposely make it an awful day so they never want to come again. Uh, so they could continue to keep the money on the down low. Um, and eventually, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but it's sort of the rise and fall of uh, a cycle in terms of collectibles. And uh, let's see. Let's see if I can show you one more 
cool thing. Yeah, you can see, you know, uh, Nicholas is just great at doing boxes and everything. You know, everything. He's just good at everything. Um, you know, real, real, real stuff. <laughs> real stuff is uh, easily done. Yeah, here's their van and going to yard sales. <laughs> um, that scene was a, a scene... And uh, that scene, there was a scene that was based on a real thing. It's like, back in the day, you couldn't convince people comics were worth anything. And then after Superman died, you couldn't convince them that they were worth nothing uh, when they were worthless. So, here they are on a vacation at a con, wheeling and dealing. <laughs> so, you can see the airport here and the Hawaiian shirts. I mean, Nicholas just has such great sensibilities. Uh, he's he's out of Italy, and uh, where the comic scene there is pretty pretty rad. Um, so uh, I don't want to give away too much of the story. You really got to read it. It's all complete. You could you could you could burn through the entire entire thing. It's called Dealers, and it, uh, I think it really captures a, a, a moment in time, you know, with uh, people and uh, uh, how this whole toy thing works. You know how 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 the collectible industry really works. So, if you're if you're at all interested in comics or games or any kind of collectible, I think I think you'll really enjoy dealers. Um, and uh, who knows? We 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 have plans on someday putting out a, the graphic novel in print. Uh, uh, this came out in like 2010, 2011, so we haven't been able to do it yet, but. Um, and if you're a big Star Wars fans, you know, this was the time for the prequel for the Star Wars. So that was that plays a big role in the story, you know, their reaction to it. So uh, if you get a chance, check out Dealers on the site at the Webcomic Factory.